Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how relentless cosmic radiation may have reshaped the interstellar visitor 3i Atlas over billions of years, leaving behind clues etched into its drifting surface. And to understand its present form, we must look back at what shaped it in deep space. Objects drifting between star systems are exposed to constant, unshielded cosmic radiation, high-energy particles that slowly modify surface ices. Over extremely long timescales, these particles break molecular bonds, rearrange atoms, and create new compounds. 3i Atlas, likely spent hundreds of millions to billions of years in this environment, giving radiation plenty of time to alter its outer layers before it ever reached the solar system. Laboratory simulations show that cosmic ray exposure can convert water, carbon monoxide, and other ices into more complex molecules like organics or carbon dioxide. James Telescope observations of 3i Atlas detected unusually high CO2, suggesting its surface ices may have been chemically reprocessed through prolonged radiation exposure, a known effect in interstellar chemistry. Over billions of years, cosmic rays penetrate only a few meters into a comet's surface, leaving the deeper layers pristine. This creates a processed crust on the outside, where ices are chemically altered, while the interior remains closer to its original composition from its parent star system. This could explain why 3i Atlas showed both fresh volatiles and a chemically unusual CO2-rich outer layer when it started outgassing. Interstellar radiation tends to darken and redden the surfaces of icy bodies by producing carbon-rich residues. Many distant solar system objects show the same effect. The early images of 3i Atlas, revealing a relatively dark, nucleus-like appearance, align with this expectation, suggesting the comet's surface may have been coated with radiation-generated organic material known as tholins. Radiation can seal the outer layers of a comet by creating denser, processed crusts. This crust traps more volatile ices just beneath the surface. When 3i Atlas entered the solar system and warmed up, James Telescope detected strong CO2 and water release, consistent with the idea that radiation-transformed layers were storing volatile compounds that rapidly sublimated once heated. James Telescope measurements showed 3i Atlas producing dominant CO2, along with water, CO, and OCS. This CO2-rich profile is not typical for most solar system comets, which usually release water first. Radiation-induced chemistry is a strong candidate to explain this imbalance. Cosmic rays can convert CO and other ices into CO2 over long periods, altering the comet's volatile inventory before it arrives. Even though radiation changes the outer layers, the deeper interior remains relatively untouched. That means 3i Atlas carries two types of information. A radiation-processed shell, telling the story of its long journey through interstellar space, and a preserved core, offering clues about the chemical environment in the system where it formed. Studying both layers makes 3i Atlas a rare scientific archive, a body shaped by two different histories, its birth around another star, and its long, lonely voyage through the galaxy. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.